Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I'm your host, Scott Ramp, and I'm here to tell you about all the wonderful things that are happening in and around the city of Missoula. We got guests from Missoula Aging Services on here. They're here to talk about workshops that are happening through the um, Missoula Agent Services that are going to be go ongoing. They'll explain a little bit more about the details, but there's a lot of stuff going on, especially in terms of Social Security. So if you qualify for Social Security and want to learn more about Social Security, you just sign up for these classes, and I'll get more on that a little bit later. Um, I got uh, behind the scenes from our very own sports kids, including myself. I make a little cameo appearance. Um, you also get a chance to uh, see some of our uh, uh, dubbing stuff. You get some news. You get some weather. You get all sorts of wonderful things happening this weekend as well. But let's kick things off with a little bit of weather. It is currently 23 degrees outside. Your high is going to be 33. Your um, your low is going to be th uh, 20 degrees today. High is going to be 34. Your low is going to be 30 Thursday. Friday, you expect your highs to get into the 40s. So things are going to get a little bit warmer with uh, that snow turning into rain pretty much all weekend long. Um, I have a nice little link of onthesnow.com. So here is a nice little page to represent uh, some of the snow that's been happening over some of the, your favorite ski resorts. So Whitefish Mountain Ski Area had a fresh uh, inch of snow in the last 24 hours. Showdown Montana had four inches of snow in the last 24 hours. Blacktown Mountain had three inches of snow in the last um, 24 hours. Bridger Bowl didn't have any fresh new snow, but it looks like they still have enough snow for a nice little base area. Bridger Bowl um, didn't have any fresh snow. Uh, Big Sky uh, Ski Resort had no fresh powder. Um, Montana Snowball had uh, two inches in the last 72 hours. Discovery didn't have any, have any fresh powder. Neither did Great Divide, Lost Trail, um, and Maverick Mountain. It looks like most of these other areas didn't have any have much fresh snow, but it looks like uh, most of the ski areas are open, and you can expect partly cloudy, sunny days happening pretty much for the next couple days here in the city of Missoula. Um, let's kick things off with some news. If you guys haven't already heard, uh, most of Missoula uh, was kind of locked down and uh, warned about a, an escaped uh, criminal and he was uh, uh, in pursuit by federal officials in the East Missoula area. Um, a man was underway yesterday afternoon when a man fled police Tuesday in a stolen truck. He ran into a tree and then he was able to evade police on foot. He was arrested without incident approximately 1.45 p.m. on Tuesday when he uh, uh, escaped from a hotel um, in East Missoula. Um, he was located in a trailer at the 800 block of Speedway in East Missoula, and they do not believe that there are any, any further danger to the public. Missoula College and homes in the Kim Williams trailer were locked out while police and federal officials gathered information about this man. Um, the subject, Willie... Uh, William Billy Dale Newhoff at the Aspen Motel. Sheriff T.J. McDermott says Newhoff drove through a parking lot and hit a residence, a residence on Dakota Street and crashed into a tree at the 800 block of Speedway Avenue shortly after he was apprehended at that trailer. The Montana uh, Department of Correction, uh, Corrections lists his prior offenses, including theft, forgery, and blur burglary. He is also convicted of escaping from a Mineral County Jail in 2009 along with another inmate. Um... But yeah, that's happening. Uh, that what that's basically was the big drama that happened in here in Miz the Missoula County yesterday. Um, here are some things that are happening in, in the state. House Bill 89, which received a unanimous support in both House and Montana legislature, came from a policy recommended by the 2015-2016 inter interim task force on public defenders. Though this bill, it would help folks who serve their time in prison programs to reintegrate. Um, the pilot program will be modified after a simple program already in use by the Confederate Salish and Kootenai tribes, which is re uh, relied for guidance of the Bronx defenders, a public defenders network in New York. So the whole idea is a way for to find housing, making sure clients take medication, and or arranging transportation are among the simplest ways this program are helping folks. Uh, this pilot program garnered support not only for the organization like Disability Rights Montana, but also from the state prosecutors. While final costs would be determined for several... Um, Let's see here. Sorry about that. Okay. So uh, <laughs> so while final costs will be determined for several months, oh, huh, um, the project was expected to cost somewhere between 750000 and a million dollars, according to the bill's fiscal notes. In national news, um, NASA's uh, image 
image, spacecraft spent five years studying the Earth's um, magnetosphere, which when its uh, signal blinked off in 2005, the space agency called it a mission and moved on. Recently, an uh, amateur astronomer found that a spacecraft, uh, while Scott Tilly was scanning, Scott Tilly was, is an amateur ast uh, astronomer who was scanning the S-band frequency range looking for something all, uh, altogether different. The super secret U.S. Uh, government space satellite known as Zuma that were reportedly failed to reach orbit this month after launch from Cape Canaveral from Space X Falcon 9 booster. Um, NASA, he was looking for that, um, but he found this other um, satellite known as IMAGE. And this weekend, the Space Agency and John Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory and Laurel MD planned to separate, try reestablishing contact using deep s space radio antennas. The odds are extremely good that it's alive, Rice University space plasma f uh, physicist um, Patricia Reeve, who was a co-investigator at the IMAGE mission, told Science Magazine. Science writes that IMAGE is revived. Its orbit would be well-positioned to monitor Earth's northern aurora zone. Satellites have come back from a dead, the dead before, as was reported in 2014, contact with ISEE-3, um, which visited comet Giovanni Zinner in 1985, was briefly reestablished years after communication went out. However, efforts to re uh, revive the craft ultimately failed. So that's kind of what's happening in the news. Um, if you uh, were up earlier enough this morning, you can see a nice solar eclipse, and um, when we come back, we'll have our guests on here, so I'm going to give you a little taste of the solar eclipse, and when we come back, we'll have guests from the Missoula Aging Services, so stay with us. Hey guys, welcome back. We're here with Alicia Crandall and Mary Olson, and you guys are here to talk about a couple workshops that are happening through uh, uh, Missoula Agent Services. So let's uh, let's get things off. So what kind of thing can people expect from these workshops? Sure. Well, we're here to talk today specifically about the Social Security Q and A Brown Bag Workshops. We have six that will be happening wow. in 2018, um, facilitated by this lovely lady. Mary Olson, and if it's okay, I would love to share a little bit about Mary's expertise. Uh, Mary worked for the Social Security Administration for almost 29 years, and we are so fortunate to have her teaching this class. Social Security is really complex, and it's extremely unique to each individual. So Mary does her workshops with 10 people, and we are just really happy to have the opportunity to come on MCAT to let the community know they're available. Um, Missoula Aging Services promotes the independence, dignity, and health of older adults and those that care for them. So understanding Social Security, we want to help with that. Great. So uh, tell, uh, tell us, Mary, um, what can people expect from going to one of your classes? Great question. Um, it's an hour and a half session. It is an informal interactive session. In short, it is designed to help people navigate through the complex maze of Social Security. But we do have an agenda with five basic topics, which I'd like to just describe briefly, if I may, just so they have a little more specific idea of what we cover. Um, number one, we discuss the requirements for eligibility for retirement benefits. Um, issues like how much work do I have to have to get a retirement benefit? Um, how are the benefits calculated? How many years are used in computing the benefits? Um, so that people know what, whether they're going to even be eligible. We talk about options, which are very important as to when a person might start benefits um, and the effects of starting at certain times. For instance, a person can wait until what's called their full retirement age and get the full unreduced benefit 
based on their earnings and the formula used to compute that benefit. They can start as early as 62 at a reduced rate. Benefits are reduced on a monthly basis. Or if you wait beyond your full retirement age, you add additional credits all the way up until age 70 at the rate of 8% a year. Um, so lots of options to talk about to make sure people know their options. Number two, we talk about factors to consider uh, as to when to retire. It's a question that everybody faces, everybody asks. When should I start my benefits? And the answer is there is no right or wrong answer. It's such a personal decision, but we do go over factors to think about. One's health, longevity. Uh, what I stress is know your options, and that's part of why you're here at this session. Um, know your estimates, get those numbers, figure out what's best for you. The third item, the third factor, or the third topic is spousal benefits, which I would venture to say probably takes up most of our time. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, we spend more time on that because of the complexity and the questions that arise. People say, well, my spouse earned more than me. Can I get benefits off of him or her? Or they say, what if I have my own benefit? Can I get some more on my spouses, some additional? Right. Uh, another question, is there an option? Can I take my spouse's benefit and then hold off on my own? We go into all of those in detail, quite a complex array of uh, issues. We actually do a computation of an instance where a person is entitled to his or her own benefit wow. plus the additional. Yes, we have a great little PowerPoint we do for folks yeah. to see exactly how that works. Um, so that is a biggie, spousal benefits, and I think it's a very kind of a mysterious topic. People just don't know exactly how that works. Uh, divorce spouses also included. Then the next topic is um, requirements for eligibility for widows, widowers, divorce widows, widowers. We go into all the options on that. And then the last topic is regarding work and earnings and how they affect Social Security benefits. And that pertains to a person who wants to receive their Social Security right. and still work. If you're under full retirement age, there is a limit that you can earn and certain consequences if you go over that limit we cover and then finally the fact that once you reach your full retirement age there is no more limit you can draw your benefit and work and earn as much as you want so in a nutshell those are the basic topics but i'll tell you in an hour and a half we are always racing to finish it gets um you know complex stuff so let's talk about some of the details. Uh, there are many events that are coming up. I see you have uh, February, May, August, October, December workshops mm -hmm. going on throughout this time, and this is sponsored by um, Missoula Agent Services. Are there anyone else who's a part of this as well? So for the Social Security Workshop, this is um, a really focused initiative led by a skilled volunteer who you have standing right here. So this is offered in our building. Um, you are going to be showing uh, the the link for our Eventbrite page mm -hmm. where we have about seven opportunities right now for workshops and classes other than the Social Security Workshop. So let's take a look at the Eventbrite page. It is, um, the website is, of course, um, MissoulaAsianServices.Eventbrite.com. Yes, so if people um, want to see all of our workshops, they would go to www.missoulaagingservices.eventbrite.com. Yep, and I also I just wanted to mention that I'm going to have the link to this webpage on this video on when we when I upload it to YouTube, so people will be able to look at the link below and be able to find the. Uh, Two websites, MissoulaAgentServices.org, um, www.MissoulaAgentServices.Eventbrite.com, and of course, the um, phone number for Missoula Agent Service for anybody who has any questions, which is? So our phone number is 406-728-7682. We never turn anyone cool. away, away based on a hardship to pay for a workshop. We have no cost and reduced cost tickets always. Right. Be and you have a $15 two for one deal. Yeah, we, so we have, for Social Security, it's one for $15 or 
What, one, two for fifteen dollars and one for ten. <laughs> right. 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 Two for fifteen right. and one for ten. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Scott, thank you so yeah. much for being here for MCOT and supporting yeah. Missoula Aging Services. Yeah, I love having Missoula Aging Services come down here. You guys do a great service for the aging population in Missoula, and it is a big chunk of the population that is in the Missoula area. So if you guys want support from the Missoula Aging Services, be sure to call, like them on Facebook, mm -hmm. follow on Twitter, all sorts of yes. social media are wonderful things that yes. um, Missoula Agent Services does, and they're really good about responding to anybody who has any further questions. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a good uh, note to leave it on. So thanks, Mary. Do you have anything else you want to say? Well, one more thing. I just want to say that um, with these sessions, um, because of the complexity, and we go pretty fast and try to cover in some depth, uh, people, what happens, which is great, they kind of focus in on points that are relevant to them. And at that point, I invite them to come and make a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me, which many have, have done. Yes. And at that point, we can sit down with their particular situation, needs, mm -hmm. questions, take time, go over all the options, um, so that they're just a little better prepared, hopefully in making their final choices. So, yes, that's... Well, thanks, guys. <laughs> Is there anything else? I just want to say thank you to Mary. And we couldn't do what we do without her. And thank you to <laughs> Missoula Aging Services for having me. It was a great thing to find after my retirement. <laughs> right. We'll be right back right after this. Stay with us. Did I freeze? Hold on one second. I just got to make sure. Sergeant Greg Amundsen with the Missoula Police Department. I'd like to talk a little bit about bicycles riding on the sidewalks in the city of Missoula, which we see a lot because Missoula is a very bike-friendly town. I would just like to let bicyclists know that they do have to yield to pedestrians on the sidewalk safely because they travel faster than a pedestrian, so they do have to do that in a safe manner. And then when you get to a crosswalk, you are actually required to slow your bicycle down to what would be called a pedestrian pace, and you cannot begin crossing until it's safe to do so. Your smartphone can help you find a bar, alert your friends that you're in the bar, update you on your team while you're at the bar, and now, let you know you need a ride home from the bar. Hmm, that is smart. Download blood alcohol calculators for your phone at plantolive.mt.gov. Buckle up, Montana. Life is a ride you want to stay on. Send a buckle up reminder to a friend at plantolive.mt.gov. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm here to talk about some of the uh, cool things that you guys can check out on MCAT as well. MCAT, um, along with those workshops um, that are happening in Mis from the Missoula Agent Services, we also are providing um, media assistance grants for nonprofits such as the um, Missoula Agent Services. So if you're a nonprofit here in the city of Missoula or a civic group, um, all it's all about nonprofit and uh, civic engagement type groups here in the city of Missoula, um, education as well. You can apply for our media assistance grants, which offers uh, people a chance to get their voice out there through a visual medium that is MCAT. So the whole idea is that you go to MCAT.org, you go to How Do I Request Event Recording, and you uh, filled our form, and we give you up to 12 hours of free services for nonprofits in the city of Missoula for anybody who is interested in 
using MCAT for uh, getting their voice out there. So MCAT is a catalyst for people who uh, want to get their voice out there. So I think that's a nice little short thing to do. Um, if you're interested in kind of like DIY do-it-yourself kind of um, attitude, um, you can come down here and you can learn how to use camera equipment, editing equipment, and all that stuff. Every Wednesday, MCAT does trainings at 5.30 p.m. where people can make their own programs and ha have help to make their own programs. Um, and it's a good stepping stone, I stepping stone into television broadcasting. So um, I think that's a nice, uh, nice little thing to end on. I wanted to show you guys some new programs that are going to be airing on MCAT. I wanted to show you some of these programs um, when I left uh, the last interview, but I had a little technical difficulties. Um, I couldn't click on the mouse, and the thing didn't go on to the widescreen. So I don't know what happened there. But it works now. So without further ado, here are some of the new programs that are going to be airing on MCAT. And then I have a, a bunch of just a bunch of random clips for you guys. I think I'm just going to jump into events. There was no city council, so I will... Uh, here's some <laughs> here's some new programs airing on MCAT, and when I come back, I'll talk about what's happening in and around the city of Missoula. So, if you are homeless, I think of you particularly on a night like this when I'm at home and a fireplace is on and a dog is on my lap and I'm still a little bit cold. I think what it must be like not to have a place to be that's warm, not to have a place. That's safe not to have hope that tomorrow, at least, you'll be in that place that's warm and safe. Not knowing, day after day, not knowing, night after night, where home is or if it even exists, you're on my mind. And so we gather on an evening like this to remember that the folks we like to think are invisible and we treat as invisible most of the day when we see them in the daylight, when we cross the street, when we look the other way. On a night like tonight, we acknowledge that you exist. And we acknowledge our responsibility to you as compassionate, decent human beings, brothers and sisters, friends and neighbors, family, we have an obligation to you. And in Missoula, Montana, we will not rest until you know where that home is. Tonight, the next night, and the night after that. Thank you all for being here. NATO. Remember NATO? NATO's obsolete. A bunch of freeloaders. We're, ta we're paying the whole freight. And what are they doing? I remember this is an interesting behind the scenes. What happened was... A number of people became alarmed by that. So you saw, in, roughly in succession, you saw Vice President Pence go to Brussels. You then saw the Secretary of Defense, James Mattis, do the same thing, and then finally followed by Rex Tillerson, each of them reaffirming the importance of NATO to our overall security posture. That's a good thing, I think. In the Middle East, there was great speculation that we would ditch the Palestinians, move in favor of, of an Israeli solution. The two-state solution uh, is continuing. In fact, during the Asian trip, it was announced that uh, it was announced that the administration would unveil in the new year a new plan for uh, peace in the Middle East between the Palestinians and the Israelis. I'd love to see the details. Uh, as one who has suffered under this, it, uh, it ain't going to be easy.
And uh, MCAT will be live streaming the um, University Fusion concert that's happening um, in February. So be check out that. It uh, features the University of Montana Percussion um, Core, uh, led by uh, Professor uh, Dr. Bob Ledbetter. So. Um, here are some of the events that are happening in and around the city of Missoula. So if you guys are going out and about and you want to learn a little bit of this, or maybe you just want to do a little bit of that, um, MissoulaEvents.net is your place to go. And here is a nice little rundown of some, some things you guys can do for your Wednesday morning, starting this morning as early as 9 a.m. So you might have missed it, but Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center uh, does more WordPress. WordPress is a website that basically allows you to create your own web page and it's kind of like a uh, it's kind of like your own web page in terms of a lot of people use this for uh, resumes like a web page representation of the resume learn how to add plugins themes upload video and search engine optimize as well as integration with common free social networking tools like YouTube Flickr Twitter Facebook continue to manage and maintain your WordPress site um, pre-request administration of an existing WordPress website th that does not use your name dot wordpress dot com as your URL and your introduction to WordPress or equivalent experience is necessary. Um, Ms. Mo Misa and Roots Acro Sports Center is doing all sorts of gymnastics for kids. Um, Missoula Indoor Sports Arena, Roots Acro Sports Center, and Ms. Mo Gymnastics is a great place for kids to get physical as early as now until about noon. Uh, but of course, they do some um, after-school programs and a, a bunch of uh, adult tumbles and all sorts of foam pits and wonderful things going on there. Um, open ha hours at the Makerspace, um, B um, Missoula Public Library. Open time allows visitors to explore the resources of the Makerspace, learn how to use the equipment, like 3D printer, or to work on a project of their choice. And this happens from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., 1 p.m., 2 p.m. to uh, 6 p.m. I think between 1 and 2 p.m. they might be doing a class or they might be doing a workshop. They usually do a lot of workshops at the Missoula Public Library. Um, Spectrum Discovery Center is open for visitors of all ages to explore science through engaging ex exhibits and activities. Um, their location is 812 Tool Avenue, and they're learning about neurons starting at 11 a.m. If you're interested in just playing some simple Scrabble or Bridge, go to the Senior Center starting at 1230 today. Missoula Middle School Writers Group, uh, starting this afternoon, right after school, um, Missoula Public Library helps kids improve their writing skills and storytelling from 3.30 to 5 p.m. It's for grades 6 through 9 to get um, give, to give good feedback, play with words, and eat a little chocolate. Um, that happens there. It happens every single Wednesday from 3.30 to 5 p.m. Friday is Teen Writers Group for a little bit older kids. Um, poetry fun for everybody. Um, oh, it's actually pottery fun. Sorry, it's not poetry. Sorry, guys. You're going to have to wait for poetry some other time. Uh, in this course at the Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center, Lifelong Learning Center Students will develop the skills and confidence for working with clay by exploring different methods of pottery. The instructor will discuss basic clay management, including what kind of clay to use, how to how to use tools, and what they are used for. Hand building techniques and art uh, of throwing a on a wheel, and how to develop and finish surfaces. Woven through the technical information, students will explore a variety of hands-on making processes and generally addresses the mysteries of clay. And the students will develop clay projects that address different uh, ceramic skills and efforts to find techniques that work best for the individual. No previous clay experience required, and all levels are welcome. Starting at 6 p.m. Um, this is this one is definitely one of my favorites, and I really like to promote this. It is a uh, women's comedy workshop at the Badlander for ladies and non-binary folks. A place to talk about comedy and stand-up. Come to the Badlander every uh, every last Wednesday of the month at 6 p.m. for an hour of women talking with women about about comedy. Bring new bits, unfold notes on napkins, try your own material, talk shop, brainstorm projects, or just laugh and network with other funny women. Um, they don't care if you've been on a comedy scene for years or you're not even 100% you want to pick up the mic at all, which will lead into the comedy mic night starting at 7 p.m. at the Badlander. So you get a bunch of people come together and then they encourage you to get up on stage if you're willing and willing to do so so it's like karaoke but instead of singing terribly you make bad jokes think about it like that um you know you can't well like i don't know if your jokes are good or not that's the thing y you never know but 
Uh, speaking of <laughs> more women events, uh, menstrual hygiene, um, health empowerment and environment happening at the University of Montana, Global Public Health Series has started, and this is the second week of glo Global Public Health. It's usually inside the, um, um, the Gallagher Business Building, which is across from the Universal University Recital Hall, and it's usually in room one, two, three of the Global Public Health the, the Global Public Health Lecture Series, it's not even a tongue twister, I'm just making it difficult on myself, uh, features health professionals working to improve public health around the world, sharing their experiences, insights weekly during the spring semester, Sarah Webb, Program Director for Asian and Latin American with Days for Girls International, works with an inter intersection between public health, women's empowerment, and environmental conservation. While working in India, Sarah learned about the changes faced by women during menstruation and became a passionate advocate for menstrual hygiene um, initiatives. So you learn about global public health in, in terms of basically um, how women in India deal with menstruation. So I think it would be pretty interesting um, if you guys are um, interested in learning about other cultures and how they deal with uh, their, their health and how they deal with health issues in other countries. And I think this is a good way. And it, it's a class, but it's also open to the public, which is why they promote it on MissoulaEvents.net. Um, also happening tonight, if you're interested in doing some trivia, um, Trivia Beer Suit is gonna be at the tr press box starting at 8.30 p.m. Uh, Brains, on uh, Brains on Broadway, so Broadway Bar and Grill hosts a trivia night as well. Silver Slipper hosts a trivia night um, starting at 7.15, 7.30 at the Silver Slipper, and it's just just on the uh, outskirts of Missoula County. Um, Missoula, <laughs> no, Missoula, the city of Missoula, not Missoula County, but it feels like that. But Missoula Open Deck Society DJ, DJ Dance Party, whoo, that's a mouthful, at the VFW, but if I talk, everything is a mouthful. Um, <laughs> uh, karaoke is gonna be at the Sunrise Saloon, um, Badlander, and the Eagles Lodge. So all sorts of wonderful things happening tonight as well, um, including the comedy, stand-up comedy at the Badlander as well. And also, I'll talk about some more comedy that's happening tomorrow night on Thursday. But here is a little bit of funny um, with the conclusion of the Miami Connection dub and stuff series. So when I come back, I'll talk about your Thursday events. And then I have a special video featuring the behind the scenes of one of our sports games that I that we went and did, uh, I think it was uh, last Thursday. So stay with us, and we'll have that and more after this. <laughs> Will you stop doing that? Oh, oh, sorry. Is anyone going to read me a bedtime story? <laughs> oh, man, do I got a story for you, and it's a good one. I even wrote it down. Uh, how do you expect to improve your improv skills if you have to write it down? That's not how it works. It's improv. Give me that. Give me it. Give it to me. This is improv. Whoa, whoa, my improv skills are on fleek. Stories you know, come from oh, you the want heart. It? You want it? Not Oh, it's creative writing. writing. Give oh, me it. Nope. Give it to I'm me. I'm going to read the story to you. As the light hits the dew drops in no, the morning no. sun, no, it just come clear no, for stop. a young no. hero, Jeffrey Morris. Well, you better stop Please. and give him that lighter, you know? What the, What is going on in here? Uh, I don't, I don't understand. really understand either, you know? Billy, what is going on? You won't on? understand anyways. Did you do this time? It's just some of my creative writing. <laughs> oh, come on. It wasn't that you bad. Okay. You did not need to rip up Ricky's creative work. Uh, all right, all right. Let me lay it down for you guys. This, this is my father. Uh, let me get more comfortable. This is... Yeah, he taught me everything about improv. Is that why you always refuse to block with us? I'm afraid so. But comedy comes from passion. Integrity. Mustache comb. You can't make people laugh with just improv. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know. Don't get me going on this. My father, he tried to instill in me the importance of comedy, but he just never knew how to write. So he relied on slapstick and all sorts of fall gags. It never really amounted to anything, but it was the only time he'd ever spent with me. Until one day, he decided to bring up props and, and be... and become a prop comic. 
He bleached his skin and dyed his hair red. He's in Vegas now as Carrot Top. Oh my God. I don't want to do props. I just want to look out into the audience and say, hey, Nice tie. Did the plant factory blow up or something? It's not great, but it's a work in progress. All I ask for is just, just a couple improv games. I promise they'll be the most fun. And so the sun fades on this series of Dublin stuff. Miami Connection. I think I stole that from Masterpiece Theater. Anyways, um, let's talk about some more events that are happening on your Thursday. Um, Love Your Library fundraiser, Missoula Public, Li uh, Missoula Public Library, of course. This spring, Missoula Public Library will break, down, break ground for the expansion of their 21st Century Library Museum Complex. It's not a library, it's a museum too. They're also not gonna call it a library, so there's that. Okay, so doors, to the new facility are slated to open in early 2020. So join your friends, neighbors, and community leaders in supporting this project by participating in our first Facebook fundraising um, fundraiser beginning February 1st, Thursday, tomorrow morning, starting at 10 a.m. And their goal is to raise $15,000 in 15 days. Every dollar counts, and um, and they will help. And will help your public library purchase new books to fill our shelves. For more information about this new building project and capital campaign, visit slash grow And this event happens from February 1st through the 15th. So. I think it's a great event, and it's going to be ongoing, so check it out. Um, my iPad and my iPhone is a class at the Missoula Public Library, so if you don't know how to go to their Facebook page, iPad and iPhone will show you how to get there at the Missoula Public Library, an introduction class for the iPad and iPhone users who would like to become more comfortable with their devices. Uh, you must RSVP by calling 721-BOOK, otherwise known as 721 Two six six five, and this happens from noon to one p.m. in the computer classroom at the Missoula Public Library. Poop versus egg game. Of course, I had to do this one. Missoula Insectarium is hosting an Everybody Poops Month here at the Insectarium. They will be playing games where they get a get up close and personal with some poop and some common things that you may find laying at the bottom of our terrariums poop and eggs join us while they explore the rich soil between the bugs and why many anthropods are not afraid to poop near their young. Um, girls and bugs. Minzula Insectarium. If you have a young bug enthusiast at home who loves nothing more than to look at bugs in the backyard, does she love asking questions and testing new ideas? Missoula's Insectarium is launching a bug club just for girls who are interested in all things bugs, science and exploration. So it's a girls bugs club. Check it out. It happens at 3.30 this afternoon at the Missoula Insectarium. There's the food fresh. Uh, there's the mm, farm fresh pitch fest. Burn Street Bistro f um, farmers pitch their entrepreneurship, and you have, and you help fund a zero percent interest Kiva loan. Enjoy uh, hors d'oeuvres and um, libations, and invest in the farmers that bring you the local foods. This place is where you can get involved with Missoula Food Co-op, where they ask you to work X amount of hours so you can have the ability to buy GMO-free food from the Burn Street Bistro um, market. So they're doing a pitch, farmer's pitch for their entrepreneurship. So that's happening at 6 p.m. at Burn Street Bistro. And get involved with M Missoula Food Co-op as well. Um, Lewis and Clark's usage, um, sorry, M Lewis and Clark's use of indigenous maps and sources. The Lolo Community Center, public lecture by um, archaeologist Kevin O'Brien and discussion of what Lewis and Clark expeditions learned about the distribution and border and routes used in the native people during the Lewis and Clark expedition, which led to Lewis's master map and the Trans-Mississippi West. Chiefs among these sources uh, um, was the, uh, ooh, um, it's the uh, Arik Ambassador Corridor 
know, knowing the Tuni. It, it's known as uh, knowing known as the Tuni. Uh, this is an other inputs must be put into the context of a much broader indigenous tradition of making maps as mytho mytho historical texts prior to European contact, and later as documented as consumption by European and Euro American um, conquistadors, trading and would be colonists ranging from Columbus to the Hudson Bay Company. There are a lot, at least nine occasions where Clark relied on similar documents. <coughs> also happening tonight is the homegrown open mic comedy hosted by John Howard. Union Club hosts a comedy night every first Thursday of the month. So it's it, it's interesting when the transition for comedy for tonight also transitions into comedy tomorrow night. So this is the week of comedy happening in the middle of the week here in Missoula. Starting at 9.30, uh, you can register at 9 a.m. And so you can hang out and do some comedy. It's open mic. You sign up and you get up on stage when your name is called and you try out some comedy. And they don't make you go on for so long. Go, go on as long as you want, but I think they limit you at like three minutes. So um, I don't think you can, you know, if you can make a couple laughs, it might be worth it. So check it out. And here are some of your other late night Thursday events that are happening as well is that you got Lolo Creek Band at the Sunrise Saloon, uh, karaoke at the Dark Horse. You got the pick and pair folk music at Top Hat Lounge, and then you got some live jazz happening at the Plunk. So if you're interested in doing and learning more about events that are happening in the city of Missoula, I kind of glossed over it, even though it felt like it was forever. Uh, <laughs> MissoulaEvents.net is the place to be for everything Missoula. So if you want to learn everything you need to know about uh, what upcoming events are happening, because it looks like um, there's a Saturday Brew Fest on February 17th. There's, uh, I guess there's some kind of uh, community concert. Missoula Community Band is doing some kind of concert on February 3rd. I'll probably talk about that. But of course, first Friday is this Friday. So I'll have your in-depth look at s your art walk and your art guide throughout the city of Missoula this Friday, along with Pre-Critic, your flagship. I think, I don't know if I'll have flagship Friday video of the week. I think I'll just might skip out on that. Uh, <laughs> but I do have a special video for you guys before I wrap up my show. And it's from behind the scene, behind the basketball. And this is from last Thursday's game. So without further ado, here is uh, some behind the scenes. Here we are, another game. Rowan and Jack are not here. So it's going to be slightly less entertaining. I'm sorry, Scott. You should be. You're a very big disappointment. Close up on my face. Very big disappointment. You want to go, Scott? Say that again. Say it again. You want a ghost guy? <laughs> <laughs> you direct the documentary. <laughs> you don't. You can't expect to know everything all at once when you go into a stranger's car. Uh, but you're Scott. No, sorry, strange car. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa can say that uh, he was able to successfully pitch a movie. <laughs> We're gonna have to bleep that out. <laughs> Being a real doofus. <laughs> oh, Neil. Like the little rich boy. Wow, I, I really like, need yeah. to watch that back. Austin <laughs> Doozy. Oh. oh. <laughs> Flavor saver spider. I have the most he shaved that. Oh my god. I have the most annoying long nose. Ah! Oh! Oh! Numana Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Coniosis is like literally the best game ever. Yeah. And if you haven't played Numana Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Coniosis, the game, then you should be ashamed. Ashamed of yourself. Yeah, but did you even. Because Numana Ultra Microscopic yes. Silico the book Volcano is called Coniosis is really Numana Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Coniosis, the game, the book. I want to hear that word. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, if we had three eyes, what would that mean? We would see like, into the future. How would our depth be? Wait, you mean you can't see out of your third eye, Scott? No, I can't. <laughs> I haven't achieved that transformation yet, Neil. It's not even a transformation. It's not even my final Neil, form. Like... Tra transform my voice. I'll try. No, no, I'm just joking. You can just do it for this segment. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, the sports game. There's something in my eye and it's itchy. It's probably like an eyelash. Yeah, you were explaining earlier that you you had this book that was like completely incomprehensible. Yeah. Pneumon Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Coniosis. No, it wasn't that. It was oh. the...
I'm a band kid. I'm a band kid. I'm not. Woo! Dab, dab. Are we relatable? Relate to us. I'm fast. We leave the uh, premises, I think. <laughs> For a second, I thought you were going to do a poem. Oh. <laughs> you like. <laughs> like Vincent Price. The game has ended. And it's time for the fear. Hey, Scott, do you still forget the one for killing the candy No. Of no. course not. It was right there. Yeah. Now, I need you to do a. I want you to freeze the frame, black and white, and do rest in peace. <laughs> you can wear the. Oh yeah, I already said that. <laughs> you can wear a horse to water, but you can't make it. Wait. You can't make it what? stick. Not, not fall. Oh, ah, ooh. Wow, that's quite a bit of snow. Yeah. Oh, we got the snow from uh, Bo uh, Bozeman because apparently Bozeman um, had 40 that? degree weather and it was spring looking out there, and then this kind of powder snow kind of covered the land. Yeah, they uh, were just like. I don't want this snow, and they gave it to us. And it's like, what? This is a terrible gift. Why can't we refund it? Yeah. Thanks, global warming. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. By, uh, uh, Where put it in? No, Julie, no, Julie uh, Halpern. Uh, Hal Halpern. Oh, it was a little too early. Oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> you should have waited for action. I thought you were a cameraman. And quiet on set. <laughs> Ow. You know, uh, the hairline's usually forehead. Bald spot is usually back of the head, which is what I have. Ding. <laughs> and he's got any inspirational words for the kiddos out there? To being, to, to grow up in um, life, you know? Learn to listen. Oh, yeah, that's true, though. Yeah, it's true. You gotta listen, dude. Uh, you know even if... Because otherwise, you know... Uh, white privilege sets, sets in and then you're just like I, I know everything about everything let me tell you about this one thing ah! thanks Scott for being there wait we have to show the handshake in the in the shot thank you Scott for being there thank you uh, mysterious hand you're welcome <laughs> huh? what are you thinking Scott he's All a right. square <laughs> time to do things because I might be dying <laughs> Scott roll us out Let's roll out. Then he waddled away, he waddled, waddled, waddled. Well, you know, that was the, uh, I think that was the last night before I got sick, so. <laughs> so I pretty much spent the rest of the weekend um, pretty much being sick. Uh, now I'm feeling a little bit better, but I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm not 100%, so that was a nice little short. I want to give my props to Graham Martin, who uh, is our, um, Teen extraordinaire here at MCAT. Uh, he he's he's been here since he was a little kid. Uh, works for some of the summer uh, some of the um, sports games. So and he did some behind the scenes stuff as well for uh, the Tuesday and Thursday. You can check him out if you go to his um, YouTube channel as well to watch the full video. Yes, there's more. I just kind of shortened that down to that six minute short. So once again, um, just kind of wrapping up the show. I want to thank all my guests. Um, I want to thank um, Mary Olson. I want to thank Ali Alicia Crandall from Missoula Aging Services. They're talking about their programs that are coming up in February but it pretty much ongoing and it, it teaches you guys about Social Security so if anybody is eligible to so Social Security or wants to learn more about Social Security and who are fit in that age demographic of, of the golden oldies um, you guys can check that out all you got to go do is go to Missoula uh, Asian services org their mission is to promote the dignity and self-reliance of older individuals uh, I've kind of that's not the official mission statement but that's uh, around the um, Missoula <laughs> Missoula Asian services dot Eventbrite.com is a way for you guys to find out upcoming events and learning all sorts of multiple dates for Medicare, if you're new to Medicare, Social Security Q&A, Brown Bag in Missoula, powerful tools for caregivers, grandparent rising, grandparents raising 
grandchildren support group, all these and more from the Missoula Agent Services org, and I'll be able to put that link up there al along with the interview, so you can you guys can check up the interview. It'd be called Wake Up, um, so uh, Social Security. So let's uh, let's end the show here. Um, once again, if you want to learn more uh, more about my show, you can go to wakeupmissoula.wixsite.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice to meet you. Write it out twice if you want to learn more about. MCAT, you go to MCAT.org. MCAT.org hosts training every Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. for anybody new to MCAT and wants to learn how to do the television thing. So for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ranth, and I hope you guys have a wonderful couple days of laughter, joy, terrible singing, and all sorts of wonderful events that are happening in the city of Missoula. So thank you guys for joining me, and I hope you have a wonderful day. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.